Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I had a couple students create a V-Buck. Decided to turn it into a lesson, so let's get cracking. So, friends, let's start with create new design, and let's start with a cylinder. Let's start building, friends, with a cylinder. When you bring it out, hold down shift, stretch any side you want, and then type 30 for the size. Then let's take the height and change it to size 3, and next we want to make the sides completely round. Let's pick this gray color so it's the darkest gray. And right there, we have created the outside of our V-Buck. Let's duplicate that little fella with the duplicate button. And then let's switch to a different gray. Let's grab one of these corners while holding shift and shrink it down to size 27. You can type the number or you can just use it. This one we want to have a bevel of 2.3 with one segment. We do want to also change the height back to 3 and press enter. Let's use the work plane tool and set it on top of this shape and bring out the whole cylinder. We want to hold down shift, stretch it a little, and then we are going to type 21 and press enter. We want to make this 1 millimeter thick. I'm going to stretch it a little bit, then change that number so it doesn't all stretch. And then I'm going to use fit view so we can zoom in and take a good look at it. Of course, we need to make it round. And then we want to make sure it fits right in the center. I'm going to hit work plane. I'm going to select them both. Click align. Make the larger one the master. And you can see that lines up great with that edge. We're going to do control D. So we have two of these. And we're going to lift the second one up. Make it solid. And pick that cool green color. Now we're going to take this one making sure that it fits that ridge, which it does. And if we do control down, it sinks in to the exact right depth. I want it to be a little lower though, so I'm gonna turn on my 0.1 nudge, and I'm gonna go down two clicks. And then I'm gonna stretch it up so it pokes out. When we select those two and group them, we've got that awesome hole. Friends, this is one of my favorite parts. If we put the work plane right here, click that part, Click on this part and hit the letter D, it drops inside and there's a sweet little ridge. Real quickly, I'll put the work plane back on the ground and let's put that nudge back to one. I'm going to take these shapes and I'm going to group them and I'm going to turn on multicolor. Let's put the work plane right here and let's bring out the V for V-Buck. Switch to Sans Mono backspace to get rid of that text and then do a capital V. I'm going to change the height to 0.2. I'm going to make it white. And then we need to align it. Center, center. And we just need to make it fit. I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift so it goes around the middle. And when you're happy you can then nudge it to the perfect spot. I think I like that because there's about the same distance around the corners. And then I'm going to take the height and I'm going to make sure it's 0.25. So it'll be raised up just a little bit. Now I'm going to put the work plane back to the ground and let's put all of our parts together. First I'm going to group these so they stay as a piece. Because I already had multicolor on, they stay that way. Choose a line. And it doesn't matter which one I pick, it should turn out sweet either way. Real quickly, let's take the height of this large piece and let's change it to 2.7 and press enter. And boom, your V-Buck has all its cool colors. Friends, it's time to add the part on the outside of the shape. We are going to use a wicked cool one called the Extrusion. It's under Featured Shapes. When you bring it out, we're going to do the one up top first. This tool is wicked cool. You can bend it to actually make the shape that you want to put in there. If you take these little handles and shrink them in, you can make them more pointed, and you can make the exact shape that you were aiming for to put in those little corners. It takes a while to tweak and adjust, but when you've got the one that you like, then you can just drop it into place. I'm gonna take mine and make it a height of three, and then I'm gonna to switch to this awesome blue color. Let's pull it in and see what it looks like. 
it needs to be a little smaller so I'm just gonna make it thinner and then I'm gonna use fit view to zoom in and get that shape exactly how I want it I'll make it a little thinner this way and that is pretty darn sweet if you need to adjust your handles you can until you've got it exactly the way you want when you do have it groovy if you want to adjust your height you can I think I'm gonna change mine to 3.1 and then we need to make two more of them when you do this do control D you can bring it to the middle and then we're gonna rotate them 120 degrees easiest way is to zip out here and just type 120 in the box and then move it to its location and then I'm gonna do control D again get it to the middle find that handle and this time I'm gonna go negative 120 notice you can just type in the box negative 120 and arrange it just the way you want I'm gonna switch to my 0.1 millimeter nudge and then with the arrow keys I can just drop that into place and drop that into place until I am totally happy and you have just instantly made your own awesome V-Buck. So my friends, I don't want the little pieces to show up underneath, so I'm gonna change this to exactly three and press enter and three and press enter and three and press enter. And because I've got this nudge still set at point one, I can shift click all three of those and I'm going to do control up arrow to raise them up that point one and then they don't poke out. I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to group them so they're ready for printing. If you want to turn this into a keychain, once again it's going to be a one color keychain unless you've got a really fancy printer, but you could do a keychain by going back to basic shapes, bringing out the hole, of course make it round, hold down shift and then I have found that size five hold shift and shrink it and then I found size 5 is a good size for a keychain hole and you could just group it in just like that and it would be ready to be a keychain Friends, I do want to send a shout out to Holden. Thank you so much for sharing the file with you. It was fun watching you, Brylan, and Heath all create these, and they turned out wicked cool. Uh, don't forget to name this. I'm going to call this V-Buck, and I'm going to put my initials. If you're in my classroom, make sure you do put that name on it, and make sure that if, if you get to the part where you export, you click STL, and then you put it in the STL folder. Once again, it is on the quick access, and you've got to have your name on it, and I don't know whose it is. Friends, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, if you haven't tried out TubeBuddy, there is a link in the description. It is a fantastic way to make your YouTube experience just a little more efficient. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tap. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.